fellow year 11. Welcome to our third video here for our seventh topic. We're looking at interest and depreciation. In the previous video, we looked at calculating simple interest. Today, we're going to look at graphing simple interest, a simple interest graph. Now, typically, the way things are going to go here is that our independent variable, that's what usually goes on the horizontal axis, the bit that goes side by side, what would be the x-axis on a coordinate plane, right, is going to be n the number of periods, the length of time, right? That's very common for time to be our independent variable to be uh, on the horizontal axis. And the dependent variable, right, the thing that we're sort of going to calculate to work out, the thing that changes uh, depending on time is going to be how much interest is earned. Now, suppose the reason that we sometimes use the phrase flat rate of interest interchangeably with simple interest uh, is at least partly to do with the fact that when I draw this graph, I get a straight line. So let's have a look here. Rachel invests $20,000 in an account and earns 6% per annum simple interest. Construct a graph that shows the simple interest earned in dollars for n years of values and from 0 to 8. So across my horizontal axis uh, is going to be time, right, or number of periods, from 0 to 8. Regular scale here, and I'm going to say n. Right, that's my number of periods. And that's in years. Now, my vertical axis. Hmm, how high is that going to go? Well, obviously, it starts at 0. We've got 0 interest after 0 years. But what is, what is my interest going to be after eight years, earning 6% per annum. Well, I think we're going to have to do a calculation here. So, where are we going to fit this in? Uh, we'll just squeeze it over here. That'll be fine. So, remember that my interest equals PRN. So, it's 20,000 times my rate. That is 0 0.06 times my N. My number of years is going to be 8. Mm. So... Thank you, calculator. Let's do this one. 20,000 times 0 0.06 times 8. Well, 6% times 8 is going to be 48%. So it's very close to half. It's going to be just under $10,000. It's $9,600. So I need my vertical axis to go from 0 to at least 9,600. Let's say 10,000 of technology is our vertical axis with uh, appropriate scale and labels. Right, we've got this. Now, we can plot 8 years, 9,600. There's no, so it's about here. It probably wouldn't hurt to have a few other spots along the way. Now, you could do these calculations, uh, but look, I know that it's a straight line graph because it's simple interest. So half of 9,600 is, what, 4,800. So that's about uh, here. Half of that is 2,400. Yeah, right, so it's about here. Right, and what's that going to be? About uh, 7,6. No, not 7,6. 7, 7 2. Okay, that gives us enough points there, hopefully. Now, you would use a ruler and a pencil to do this. No, it doesn't really work on the screen for me. I don't think. Uh, whoa, no, that's definitely playing up if I try to do that. Uh, but it does need to be drawn, right? When you do a graph like this, you've got to draw it oh, nope, as neatly as possible. You can see me fluffing around with this. Okay, because we're going to read off this graph. So it's, uh, it's important that it is as accurate as possible. That is not super, but it's okay. And I'm going to say uh, it should have, it's graph, it should have a at the top here, and we'll call this um, simple interest. Interest on 20,000. at 6% per annum. There we go. That explains what this graph is all about. Now, what does the gradient represent? 
how much it's increasing per year. Okay, gradient, rise over run if you like. How much interest I get for every year. So my gradient is how much interest is earned per year. Ready right And C, use the graph to estimate simple interest earned after four and a half years. So what I would need to do here is I go across to four and a half doo -doo -doo, and head up until I hit that line, pivot, and go across. So, uh, uh, I should be able to work it out, I suppose. That should have been 4.8 plus another 1.2, no, 0.6. So, uh, about 5.4. Yeah, that looks okay. <laughs> I'm going to say estimate at $5,400, right? That's about 5.4 there, isn't it? Right, there's 5... Yeah, just a little less than halfway. Cool, five four. And when eight thousand dollars interest will be earned? Well, this time I go to the eight, and this time oh, hey, what's up in there? Oh, no, it's not happening. Sorry, guys. Touch screens. Good. Again, it's my elbow. Bumping the screen there is the problem. Okay, so here we go. Across till here. Hit the line, right? This time I've gone this direction because I wanted to start at 8,000. This time I went up because I had to start at four and a half years. You don't have to have the arrows there, but you really should when you get a question like this. You might not draw the arrows, but you really should draw these lines in. That looks to me like it's about six and a half years. Okay. So here we go, say six and a half years should be a reasonable approximation. Okay, that's simple interest graphs. The important thing is to draw them very neatly, not too small, using a pencil and a ruler, putting all your axes, uh, using a sensible scale, right? A consistent scale, right? Labeling everything as you go along. Okay, thanks very much. You got any questions? See you in class.